In this video, we are going to learn how to solve these integration questions I have here. These are about integral questions with the Casio FS, another one ES plus scientific calculator. Now, after going through this video, you'll be able to solve these questions I have here with the Casio calculator. So ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. Now, for the people of those that are watching this my video for the very first time i'm going to start from the very beginning to explain all the process to do i already have some videos on how to do this but i want us to experiment with this harvard integration questions and see if the calculator will be able to solve it okay so i'm going to start from the beginning to explain all the processes of solving integration with the castle calculator fs number one yes so let's get it and go into the details so this is Casio FS and our ES plus calculator. Now the very first thing you have to do, as I've always said in my previous videos, is to reset the calculator. The essence of resetting it is to put it in default mode to remove whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator. So to quickly reset it for this calculator, all you have to do is to press Shift button 9, you follow the instruction, want to clear or press option 3. Then press equal to and equal to again or AC key. Anyone? So it's not clear. The next thing you have to do will be to put it in radium mode. To do that, you press shift mode. Then you see radium option 4. By default, this calculator is in degree. There are some integration questions you solve under degree mode. It will not give you the correct answer. That's why I recommend that you should ensure that it's always in radium mode. That's the optimum mode to get the correct answer whenever you solve okay so having known that the next thing now we are going to do will be to store a value which i usually recommend to i can choose to store any value you want whether one or three or five but i always recommend to because i found two to be ideal okay so to start two on this calculator you press the number first two then press shift store this i will say button then we want to store it as x you press this button this is where the x button is so it, it will indicate here that two has been stored as x on this calculator okay so let's go ahead and solve this question one this question one is indefinite integration so that's the sense of storing this number okay when you want to stop indefinite integration you have to store a number whereas when you want to deal with problem involving definite integration like this question two the one that has upper and lower limits you don't need to store a number but for indefinite you will basically need to store a number so having known that let's go ahead and solve this question one that has to deal with indefinite integration so let's evaluate the question for that the idea the idea behind solving indefinite integration is to evaluate or simplify the question with a stored number and then you differentiate the options to verify your answer so let's evaluate the question we have this in fraction make use of this fraction button very, very important guys so we have 5x here to bring out x press alpha and x look at the x button then we have plus 7 okay over so is in bracket the denominator we have alpha x plus 1 you close the brackets open another bracket we have alpha x plus two close the brackets so that's it let's press equal to now so we're going to have the, you don't need to include this dl the dx yeah what it stands for is function okay that's why it denotes their function let's press equal to now so we're going to have so we have 17 over 12 if you want to change the value to decimal press this sd button so we have 1.41 right now we're going to differentiate the options to see the one that give us 1.41 that will be our correct answer to this question so let's remove this so we got the d over the s function on this calculator all you have to do is to press shift and this button where you have definite integral sign on it and it will come at d over dx okay so let's differentiate option a so we have two plane okay x plus one okay alpha x plus one okay you close the brackets plus theory lane 
x plus 2 alpha x plus 2 okay you close the bracket all right now before you press the call to when you get here you have to put the value you stored we stored two on the calculator when we started so we press two here okay lastly before we press the call to ensure that the brackets are balanced that number of brackets at the right hand side equals the number of brackets at the left hand side very, very important guys if you don't balance the brackets you end up having syntax error so when you check here you will see that we have about three brackets at the left hand side here okay when you also check here you see that we have the same three brackets at the right so we are good to go let's press the code and see if we are going to get 1.41 as the answer for this option a okay so it's correct 1.41 the, the answer this question is option a okay it's as simple as that with the cast calculator now let's solve one more question after this we can call it a class this question too looks tough but it's very simple i'm going to show you guys how you're going to represent this arc on the calculator i've not solved this kind of question before that involve arc so that's the importance of this video even if you have watched my previous videos so you can know how to do this kind of integral question with the cast calculator so for this question too this is definite integration it has upper and lower limit okay so all you have to do here you don't need to for this one this one is straightforward you don't need to start evaluating and differentiate you just stress forward that's one thing about definite integral okay so this is the symbol press it at the comma let's impute the upper limit we have it to be one and the lower limit we have it to be zero then you come to this boss and impute the function we have x that's alpha x okay now act and x there's no act on this calculator basically act and s other way you can represent it is tan inverse of x so that's what act and x stands for there okay so since we don't have act and x here you can represent it with tan inverse of x so to do that the first shifts tan then x alpha x close the brackets okay so we are good to go let's press equal to and see what we're going to have as the answer so we have 0 0.28 now let's check the options see the options are not in decimal let's break them down into decimal and see the one that give us 0 0.28 and that will basically be the answer to this question so let's check option a we have pi over 4 to bring up pi we press shift this button over we have 4 okay press the quit press sd no so let's check option b okay we can adjust it here or let's option b we have in we have pi minus 2 okay over 2 press equal to no we go to 0.28 let's check the next option option c the only difference is these four put four here okay let's press the quote and see if this will give us 0 0.2 it has to give us 0 0.2 because that's the option that is reliable there let's press the quote to confirm so that's the answer option c is the answer to this question so that is basically how you can solve problems involving integration with the casio calculator particularly with this calculator whether it is harvard integration question or whether it's not harvard as long as it is integration and the questions are in multiple choice form you can use this calculator to solve it and save time okay so hope you learned something interesting from this video now if you are new to the channel you should hit the subscribe button for more videos like this so like share and comment on this video them how you feel from what you have learned from this video if you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding this video or what you have thought in this video feel free to be a question in the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response okay so that's it for this class guys i'll see you in my subsequent video thanks for watching
reset your calculator once you are done to so say press shift button nine or to clear it whatever so we have clear the calculator so thanks for watching